This video describes the usage of the CMT's electronic compatibility and stability tester. The changes, which have come with the Sulfur Cup from the 1st of January 2020, make testing the compatibility and stability of fuels more relevant than ever. Very low sulfur fuel oils are expected to be paraffinic based in some regions and aromatic based in other regions. There is a risk of experiencing incompatibility when mixing an aromatic fuel with a paraffinic fuel. The wide range of available fuels increase the risk further. CMT's electronic compatibility and stability tester is according to ASTM D4740. Switch the device on and choose Compatibility from the main menu. This is regardless whether you want to do a stability or compatibility test. Make sure to shake and mix fuel samples thoroughly before testing. For older samples, mechanical shaking and mixing, including heating, is recommended. Insert a glass bottle into one of the round cavities of the electronic compatibility tester. For a stability test, pour about 50 ml of sample in the 100 ml glass bottle. For a compatibility test, add only 30 ml of the first component and an equal volume of blend stock to this sample and mix the content thoroughly. The equal volume of blend is generally the most severe condition of measuring compatibility. If in actual practice an application requires a blend ratio other than equal parts, conduct the test using the actual blend ratio for the test result to have a good probability of being indicative of the final blend. Put a test paper in the square hollow of the heating plate, allowing it to heat up to the heating plate temperature. Press OK to start heating the sample. Heat the sample evenly by stirring the sample with a thermometer and check temperature occasionally until a temperature of 90 degrees is reached. Please note, the display indicates the temperature of the heating plate only. Use the thermometer supplied with the kit to check the sample's temperature. Press OK when the sample has reached 90 degrees centigrade. Countdown starts at 15 minutes. Keep stirring to maintain temperature of 90 to 95 degrees during the next 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take one of the glass rods provided. Preheat the glass rod by dipping it in and stirring the heated sample for about 20 seconds. Withdraw the rod and allow one drop to fall back into the glass bottle. Drop the next one in the center of the sheet of test paper on the heating plate. Close the cover over the heating plate and press OK. Allow the test paper to dry for one hour. The counter on the display will show the time left. After one hour, remove the cover from the heating plate. Remove the test paper using the tweezers provided. Refer to the result interpretation section of the manual. Compare the spot with the standard table and record the spot number having the closest resemblance. If the spot looks like it would be rated between two consecutive spots, record the larger number. After use, clean the equipment as described in the maintenance section of the manual. If you have any problems or questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the number or email displayed.